Hello and welcome back to Discover Dermatology. Today we will be looking at an interesting treatment approach for stubborn viral warts, the use of systemic retinoids, particularly isotretinoin and acetretin. Let's explore how these medications work and what the research tells us. We should first understand what these medications are. Both acetretin and isotretinoin belong to a group of vitamin A derivatives. They affect cell growth and differentiation. They are used for a variety of skin conditions including acne and psoriasis. Next, what are viral warts? They are caused by the human papilloma virus, which create thickened, hardened areas of skin that can be potentially challenging to treat. Warts are common in children as their skin's immune system are not as robust as those of adults. They can particularly hide away in skin that is very thick, like the palms and the soles where they can hide from the skin's immune system. They are cosmetically frustrating and can be painful as well. Here's where the retinoids come in. They have several different mechanisms of action. They modify skin cells' behavior or differentiation. They reduce the keratin production in the skin cells that are thickened by the virus. They also have anti-inflammatory properties and may help to boost the skin's specific immune system against the virus. Let's start with isotretinoin, which is commonly used by most dermatologists for acne. It shows promising results in viral warts as well. Studies have found that it has a 60 to 80% response rate in recalcitrant viral warts after three months of treatment. Lower doses may be sufficient from 0.1 milligram per kg body weight, but you may need to go all the way up to one milligram per kg body weight. The good news is that even after you've completed the treatment, there is still remission from the viral warts. Here is a patient with extensive viral warts who achieved complete remission with oral acetretinoin and no relapse after 24 months. This was from another study, which was a double blind and placebo control, the highest evidence of science. This patient had 48 viral warts for five years and none of the treatments were effective. However, after 12 weeks of treatment with isotretinoin 30 mg a day, there was complete remission. Next, let's look at acetretin. This shows promise particularly for those with very widespread warts, who those who are immunosuppressed, which means the immune system is lower than normal, and those who are recalcitrant, which means they haven't responded to any other treatment. Acetretin is used at a dose of up to 0.5 mg per kilogram body weight, but much lower doses may be sufficient. Studies have found that 70 to 75% of patients will respond. Remember, these are patients who've tried every other treatment, so this figure is very impressive. This is a 19-year-old man with multiple recalcitrant warts who showed significant improvement after three months of acetretin. Here is another 33-year-old patient with resistant viral warts of four years duration, responding to 25 milligrams of acetretin for four months. What are the side effects of both these medications? The commonest side effect is dry skin, dry lips, and also sometimes dry nose, but these are all dose dependent. The lower the dose, the less the side effects. Blood tests may also be required before starting treatment, including the liver tests and the fat levels in the blood. One other rare side effect is mood changes. This is a very complex topic, and it hasn't actually been reported for those who use it for viral warts, more for those who use it for acne. In women of childbearing age group, this causes severe problems for the baby, which is called teratogenic. Therefore, it is completely contraindicated for anybody who wants to consider pregnancy. These medications are usually prescribed only by dermatologists. Remember that these medications are not used as first-line agents. They are used for those with very extensive warts or those who are immunosuppressed or those who have not responded to any other standard medical treatment. The medication should be used for a period of at least three months. And in fact, the longer you use it, the better it is going to be. That can take several months. In some, the response can occur as early as six weeks. Before we wrap up, let's compare the two retinoids. Acetretin may have a slight edge in efficacy, about 70 to 75 percent, although isotretinoin is not that far behind, about 60 to 70 percent, and even higher in some studies. Isotretinoin may be a bit more cost-effective. Acetretin is usually a bit more expensive in most countries. If you look at the side effect profile, isotretinoin may be having a shorter half-life, so if you develop side effects with it, 
you're much likely to excrete it quicker. However, acetatin seems to have less side effects when used for those with viral bots. I hope you found this information helpful. Thank you for listening and bye.